Have you ever wondered why silver is considered less valuable than gold despite its rarity? It's an intriguing question, offering a glimpse into the world of precious metals and their valuation. The gold-silver ratio, a fundamental concept in this realm, is a measure of how many ounces of silver it takes to purchase one ounce of gold. Currently, this ratio is soaring above 80, indicating it would take over 80 ounces of silver to buy just one ounce of gold. Quite a disparity, isn't it, especially considering the historical average of 50 to 60 ounces of silver for one ounce of gold. Now you might be thinking, why is this important? Well, the gold-silver ratio is a key indicator of the relative value of these two metals. When the ratio is high, as it is now, it suggests that either gold is overpriced, silver is underpriced, or perhaps a bit of both. Delving deeper, geologists estimate that there are only about 19 ounces of silver for every ounce of gold in the Earth's crust. If we consider the amount of silver and gold that has been mined throughout history, the ratio shrinks to approximately 11.2 ounces of silver to each ounce of gold. Silver, unfortunately, has been dubbed the poor man's gold, often perceived as less valuable, less shiny, and less desirable than gold. Yet, it's a misconception that overlooks silver's many advantages over gold. Silver is more abundant, more versatile, more conductive, more antibacterial, and more affordable. Thus, it's fair to say that silver is a steal right now. To summarize, the gold-silver ratio is currently skewed, suggesting that silver may be undervalued compared to gold. If you believe in the principle of mean reversion, you might expect the ratio to decrease in the future, hinting that silver could outperform gold by a considerable margin. So, the next time you think about silver as less valuable than gold, remember its potential and the intriguing implications of the gold-silver ratio. It's a fascinating world of precious metals out there and understanding their relative values could be more rewarding than